Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brian and today I'm going to tell you about another amazing laptop with the newest generation Intel processor, Asus TUF-F15. I'm a big fan of the previous year's model of this machine, especially like its design, but this year's device is much much better. For the price tag it sells for, I don't think you will find anything better for gaming. So let's dive right into it, I've got something interesting to tell you. The biggest improvement they've made this year is not the processor. The best thing about the new generation of this laptop is advanced cooling system, which allowed to install much more powerful hardware. As you might know, the tuf laptops line is only consists of extremely thin and compact devices, which often cause thermal issues. This time, they significantly raised their limitations and now is capable of keeping a 105 watts total graphics power configuration of NVIDIA RTX 3060 GPU relatively cool. Also, now it features a much more powerful processor, which is a 10-core Intel i7-12650H latest generation CPU and these two combined are an overkill for any modern game, especially in this budget. This is by far the most powerful device I've tested for 1251 bucks. Talking about random access memory, this laptop comes with 16GB of DDR5 type RAM working in dual channel mode right out of the box, which is great of course, but I'm very disappointed by the fact that it doesn't support 4th gen SSD and comes with 512GB gen 3 SSD unit. I really did not expect that, but frankly speaking it's not a big deal. I just thought they would keep all their devices with up to date hardware in every aspect. Sadly they didn't. No, ladies and gentlemen, just as I always do with laptops, I've tested a bunch of games on this machine. All of them were tested at Full HD resolution, which is native for this panel, and with the graphics settings set to high preset. I really hope this list of average in-game's FPS is something you were looking for, I thought it would be nice for you to know exactly what you're paying for. And also, I'd really appreciate your support in form of likes and comments below this video because I've spent over 25 hours installing and testing these games for you and it will really help me out. Oh, and also, this thing is equipped with a mock switch. If you don't know what it is, a less dedicated graphics card communicates directly with the display. Without a mock switch, the dedicated GPU is forced to go through the CPU's integrated graphics first, before reaching the screen, which hurts gaming performance. Simply put, if you turn it on, it increases the in-game's performance by approximately 5-6% and also it will load everything which involves graphics elements much faster. Your laptop's battery will drain a bit faster as well, but the overall experience will be much smoother. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this laptop works very quick, everything loads immediately, it is great for gaming, it can even live stream them pretty much without any loss in FPS, it is VR ready, it is capable of handling any kinds of heavy projects you're gonna throw at it, and everything about it seems to be perfect. But not so fast, there is a catch. The reason why this configuration of this laptop is so cheap, packing all this extremely powerful hardware, is that they saved up some money on the screen. Just as they do 90% of the time with gaming laptops in this budget. And I think it's not all that bad, it is just a way to make powerful products available to a wider circle of customers. More specifically, it is a 15.6 inch IPS level panel with full HD resolution, high refresh rate and fast response time, but the maximum brightness and the color accuracy are pretty bad. It looks to me like they took this panel from the previous generation of the laptop and it is a nice one for a game. But if you're looking to work on some creative projects as well, I highly recommend you purchase a bright and vibrant external monitor. I'll leave a couple of links to my personal affordable picks in the description box right below the like button. These are good ones for a fair price. Also, on top of the display there is a 720p HD webcam and it is just what you need nowadays. It is great for video calls and conferences and also I think it has decent enough quality for live streaming. Now talking about the keyboard, it actually feels pretty much the same as the previous laptop that I tested. Asus TUF came in F15. It feels nice, keys are soft to type, it has a single zone RGB backlighting and it has a number pad which allows to work with numbers more comfortably and also to fly heli in GTA or play two person games. The touchpad is average, nothing fancy, it's large, pretty accurate, can't say anything negative about it. You're gonna use a gaming mouse 90% of the time so I don't think it makes much of a difference. For example, I use my favorite Razer Orochi V2 wireless gaming mouse in white finishing and this is how I test Bluetooth stability. 
While using this mouse, I didn't have any issues with it. It connects very fast and it hasn't ever lost the connection. The wireless Ethernet connectivity is right on point as well. It supports Wi-Fi 6 and I also haven't experienced any troubles with that. It is fast. Ladies and gentlemen, earlier I said that if you work in the creative sphere, you'll be needing a nice external monitor. So talking about selection of ports it has to offer, you can easily build a proper gaming or work setup with a couple of monitors, your favorite keyboard, mouse, headphones, a microphone if you need one. It's really, really versatile. The battery life of this laptop is pretty poor, but taking into account the hardware it packs, it is to be expected. You can count on around 4 to 4.5 four hours of work in the mixed usage, which includes several video calls, background music playback using my AirPods, a ton of web browsing, typing text, and watching a bit of YouTube. Haven't tested how it lasts while gaming because it loses in performance a lot while working from battery, just as any other Windows laptop does. Now let's make a conclusion. Asus tuf f 15 in this configuration is a great laptop. If your main activity is gaming or live streaming, studying, managing business and other things which do not require a good color production level. Bad screen is pretty much the only downside this machine has and I really liked everything else. The build quality is solid, the body is very portable, the in-game and overall performance is insane, the keyboard is great and so on. So now you know all this info and remember, you gotta make your choice based on your needs. If you have some particular requirements in mind, let me know about them in the comment section below the video or visit our chat Let's Discuss Tech on Telegram and feel free to consult with me there. It'll be a pure pleasure to see you as a part of our community. And ladies and gentlemen, right now it is the most powerful laptop you can get for 1250 bucks. So make sure to order it ASAP if it suits you using the link in the description. I always monitor Amazon and find the lowest prices on tech so you don't have to. And also sellers will start raising prices on this thing just like they did with TUF Gaming F15 from the previous video. These new Intel chips are a fantastic way to earn money for companies, but in the beginning they have to give a little taste of that. So act fast and you'll get your dream laptop at its best price tag. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.